death is coming. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Conan Exiles Age of War. Today we are going to talk about the Tinker's Bench and everything you want to know about modifying weapons and armors. So let's begin. So to get the Tinker's Bench first you must go to Knowledge and Survival. Scroll down and you have the Apprentice Tinker. This one it will be unlocked at level 12. And it will unlock the Simple Armor Repair Kit, Simple Weapon Repair Kit. Then we have the Journeyman Tinker at level 24. The Tinker at level 36 and the Master Tinker at level 48. All of this will bring you to Master Armor and Weapon Repair Kits. So, I already prepared some repair kits here and I did some extended testing on some weapons and if you see here this iron broadsword has 450 durability with the simple weapon repair kit this reduced his dura the durability of the iron broadsword to 20% the weapon repair kit Reduce the durability to 15%, Advanced Weapon Repair Kit to 10%, Master Repair Kit to 5%, and the Grand Master Weapon Repair Kit to 2.5%. Now, if you see here, these are the Advanced Weapon Repair Kit because this can drop from the corrupted creatures throughout the exile lands. The one skull boss mini bosses, let's say the one skull hyenas, one skull crocodiles, and so on and so forth. So this is pretty good because in the new chapter there will be a lot more loot and weapons, especially perfected hardened steel weapons in Sepemeru chest and other chests throughout the world. And if you get yourself your hands on the advanced weapon repair kit, you can prepare these perfected hardened steel weapons without knowing how to make them. And also, this is a very good thing for uh, for nomad playthroughs. If you don't want to to build and you want to complete the game only what you find into through the world, you can do this. So. I have here some uh, damage weapons, these are pretty hard to come by, especially when you are looking for them. When you are not looking for them, also in a Preto you can find a lot of this. So let's see if I'm right. So we have the Iron Peak that has 250, and this one does damage, and if we put the advanced weapon, fitting, weapon uh, repair kit on them, it will repair. to 225 so it's 10 percent to to see if this is constant we can also put on a steel peak so this is 400 so it it should get to 360 and it did it's 10 percent if you want to look at uh, all this we'll go to the, with the hardened steel peak so this doesn't matter, any weapon, besides of course the legendary and the unique weapons that you cannot repair, all these work the same, so it doesn't matter the tier of the weapon you have, or the tool. So let's take the first one, the simple weapon repair kit, so the hardened steel hatchet and the hardened steel pick have the same 500 health, I didn't find uh, another hardened steel pick damage, so let's begin with this. As you see, it does repair it, but it will uh, lose durability by 100, so it's 20%. Weapon repair kit, this should be 15%, so it should be to 425. Yes. So, as you see, this works on all weapons and tools. Master weapon. 
this should get to see if it does yes five percent and the last one so no weapon or armor or tool can be repaired completely in age of war 2.5 is the best with the grandmaster weapon repair kit This also works the same with the simple armor repair kit. Let's just take the advanced that you also can uh, find from corrupted creatures if you are lucky of course. And let's put it for example this is 1080 and this should go to 900 and something. Let's see if it repairs. Yes, 972, so it's 10%. Now, let's move on to the... Okay, so for the Grandmaster repair kits, you must have a hammer trowel. It's called Temper, so Temper Smith for the Smith one to make the Grandmaster weapon repair kit. But you have to be level 51 to have the master weapon repair kit learned to make the grand master repair because it will take one master repair kit 10 alchemical base and 10 oil to make this these ones and also the temper right which is the temper smith version of the armorer it will make the grand master repair kits which also requires master armor repair kits so throughout the world you won't get the master armor repair kits just the advanced one now i didn't do research on the beta test servers so I don't know if this will change you will probably find the other repair kits in chest but I doubt you can find Grandmaster or Master we will see when the update comes on 21st okay next let's look to the weaponsmith knowledge so you have the apprentice weaponsmith that unlocks at level 26 which will teach you simple weapon damage kits simple tool upgrade kits simple blunted weapon fittings simple reinforcements kits and this sparing blade it's, it is only at level 26 at the apprentice weaponsmith you won't find it in the other ones so we have this and the pairing blades what pairing blades will do is reduce the weight of the weapon by 40% so we have a normal hardened steel sword which is 3.5 weight and if you see here the weight of the sword with uh, pairing blades is 2.1 the other knowledge in weapons Is at level 39 the weapon smith master weapon smith at least level 51 then you have the grandmaster weapon smith that you unlock when you finish the war maker dungeon or the clial stronghold after the the last boss you will have at the exit you'll have two tablets one for grandmaster weapon fitting and the other for uh, Grandmaster Armor, Armor Smith. So, let's talk about the weapon damage kits. So, the weapon damage kits, if I bring up my um, admin panel. We have the simple damage kit, weapon damage kit, advanced damage kit. Then we have the master weapon fitting. And also the fencer weapon fitting. So what do these all do? 
Let me see if uh, I have some weapons. No, I don't have. Let's just go to the hardened steel sword for a baseline. So if we put the simple weapon damage kit, you see it has 900 durability, 3.5 weight. So at the, when the Age of War dropped, durability, durability isn't lost when putting uh, si uh, weapon damage kits on them. But I'll show you some, do some things. So the simple weapon uh, damage kit will give you two points. The weapon damage kit will give you three points, four points, sorry. The advanced weapon kit will give you six points, so it's basically from two to two. Now, the master weapon fitting does something different. It gives plus five instead of plus six damage. It's plus five damage, but it also gives plus 12 armor penetration, if you see. The normal one has 7 armor penetration, 33 damage. And with master weapon fitting is 38 and 19. And the fencer weapon fitting gives a bonus of 10 damage. But the problem is that it is only 10 damage for light attacks. And will deduct minus 6 damage from the, uh, from the heavy attacks. So it's your choice if you use this or not. Now, let's look at the weapon, uh, the blunt weapon fittings. So, the blunt weapon fittings, you have the simple blunted weapon fittings that will add plus 10 concussion damage to light attacks and plus 20 concussion damage to heavy attacks. So, I cannot show you this, but this is from the wiki. Blunted weapon fitting, so this is the normal version of the weapon fitting, that you can make with steel bars will give you plus 20 concussion light damage and plus 40 concussion heavy damage so you can put this also on, uh, on normal weapons but the de the health damage you won't take so this is basically for uh, only for uh, what's it called the truncheons and advanced weapon fitting which is this one, and you also can find this throughout the world. Gives plus 30 concussion damage to light attacks and 60 to heavy attacks. Now let's take a look to weapon to tool upgrade kits. So we have the simple tool upgrade kit. Again, I cannot uh, show you this right now, but from the wiki and for, from the test I did, it's uh, it's like this simple tool upgrade kit. So the lowest version will add plus one to harvested resources per hit. The normal tool upgrade kit will add plus two. The advanced tool upgrade kit will give you a plus two resource harvested per hit from nodes. Or from animals if you have skinning knife okay so now let's go to the reinforcement kits so for this I can show you we have the we have the normal version of the hardened steel bow which has a thousand durability and let's put each one of these. So the simple reinforcement kit will add 50 to your durability. The reinforcement kit, the normal version, will give you plus 100 to durability. So this goes for weapons and armors too, also tools. The advanced reinforcement kit will give you 150. And this is the cool part, the master reinforcement kit that you can get from the Grandmaster weapon knowledge from the Clyde Stronghold Warmaker Dungeon will give you a straight 2x to durability but it also gives you two and a half 
times weight to anything uh, that you modify with this. So if you see the normal hardened steel bow has 3.5 weight, this has 8.75. So it's two and a half times the weight. Again, if you think this this is uh, good for you, then use it. Now we have the balance weapon fitting and the spiked weapon fitting from the master weapon knowledge. So did I put it somewhere? No. So the balanced weapon fitting reduces the stamina again because I can can show you this. So the reduced stamina is minus one to light attacks and minus two to heavy attacks for balanced weapon fitting. Actually, I think I can show you this because I have. So let's put a balanced weapon fitting to a sword and let's see. I might need to have. Yeah, let's take this one too. So let's say I have 163. So light attack, it's 20 points, and heavy attack, it's 30 points with this sword. Now if we change to balance weapon fitting, normal attacks will be 29, yeah it was 29, and the heavy attacks, yeah, 2, okay, so it's, it is how it says on the wiki, very good, and the spiked weapon fitting, this one will add a plus 10% armor penetration to your weapons. So let's see if we go here. Spiked weapon fitting. If we put it to this one, yes, 7. And now it has 17, so plus 10 armor percent armor penetration. Now, what did I... You have something in your journey, which it says Tinker. So, this Tinker journey will give you prying kits. To unlock the Tinker journey, you have to unlock the Apprentice Tinker knowledge, which is in survival. The apprentice, apprentice Tinker, so it's level 12. And what prying kits do? So let's say we have the hardened steel bow, and we put a master fitting on it. The durability it's still 1000. And with prime kits you can take away the any modification you have on your armors or weapon or tools. But it will take away 30% of the maximum durability of the weapon or uh, armor. So this is the, the fall off of this. Now, I believe we covered everything about weapon smithing. Let's talk about armor smithing. So in armor, the levels of armor smiths are the same as the, as the blacksmithing one. We have the apprentice at level 26, the armor smith at level 39, and the master armor smith at level 51. Also the grandmaster armor smith that you can learn in the Warmaker dungeon just like the master weaponsmith there are two tablets one on the left one on the right of the exit of the warmaker dungeon after the last boss the champion of the warmaker boss okay so at the Appre apprentice weaponsmith we have armor reduction kit this is only here and what this does it doesn't have an upgrade to that we have the cimmerian steel pauldron which has 1440 40 durability and weight of 29 and 77 and with this armor reduction kit still the same durability but the weight is reduced by 60 percent which in my opinion is actually pretty pretty nice now we have the the armor platings so each level has armor platings and we have thin armor plating 
again if we look in the chest we have the normal steel pauldron that has 350 armor the tin armor plating gives you plus two the normal armor plating gives you sorry four the tin armor plating gives you four the normal armor plating gives you eight armor the thick armor plating gives you plus 12 armor and now we go into the master armor armorer armor smith and these two the master armor plating and the bulk plating you can find in the grandmaster from the war maker dungeon and this one gives the master armor plating gives you plus 15 armor and the bulk plating armor gives you plus 25 25 armor but it also increases the weight of the armor by 10 percent so we have the normal version with 2970 and this is one is 3277 so it's plus 10 percent weight to the armor now we go to the armor flexibility kit we have the simple armor flexibility kit which reduces stamina when climbing again i cannot show you this all of this because it will take a lot of time so the simple flexibility kit that you can learn at level 26 will reduce the stamina when climbing by minus five percent stamina per armor piece so for a full set modified with this you will have minus 25 percent stamina stamina when climbing it will reduce the stamina used when climbing the armor flexibility kit will reduce the stamina by used by 10 percent per piece per armor piece for a total of 50 percent the advanced armor flexibility is minus five stamina used when climbing per armor piece for a max total of 75 percent and from the grandmaster armor you have gliding joints that reduce the stamina when climbing by minus 40 percent per armor piece but the stamina reduction is kept at 90 percent reduction so you can use if you use five pieces with these gliding joints it doesn't mean you have you will have zero percent stamina it will mean you have 90 percent so it's useful when you combine this with other climbing gear or if you want you can use three on on two three of these on three pieces of armor for a maximum stamina reduction now i think we covered everything here yes we have covered the master bulk plating now what we still have is when you go to the archivist inside the library of the anim city you can purchase the knowledge of oils of memory for five fragments of power and this will teach you oils of memory oils of agony of balance of bounty of concussion and of penetration so what does this do the oil of agony is for weapons a weapon oil that increases weapon damage temporarily so if we put the oil on a sword you will see that from 33 it has now 48 but it has a five minutes time timer so you can fight with this uh, for five minutes then the durability will drop to 95 uh, for 95 percent so you will have practically um, what's it called five percent of the maximum durability now you can repair this afterwards so it's no problem i think i have something here i believe i had yeah this one so this one has had 5000 i put the oil of bounty on it and now it has 50. so it doesn't reduce and you cannot repair it anymore you can repair it straight to max durability but it will uh, after the oil runs out you will have basically only five percent of the maximum durability now this one the agony gave you plus 15 damage straight damage oil of penetration if we put it on the sword also five minutes 
timer and it gives you plus 20 armor penetration so from 7 it went to 25 now the next one is oil of balance what this does it has a bigger timer 7 minutes and 30 seconds it uh, it lowers the stamina cost of the attacks with minus 2 stamina per light and heavy attack so I don't know if this one I believe if they will balance it I didn't let's, let's just by the way if you use the weapon if you have it in your inventory the timer will not run out if you take it out the timer if you look at the bottom will run out if you put it back in it will stop so this this is with all the oils so let's see if, if it's two so I believe it was 20 yes it's two it's two per hit they must change this because it's not uh, usable anymore in my opinion so we had this now we have the oil of concussion this put on the, a truncheon it will give you plus 100 concussive damage and this has only 1 minute and 40 seconds timer so it's pretty bad in my opinion but if you go the oils don't have the expiration timer so if you let's say want to take um, a pretty hard uh, troll and you don't have the Z truncheon or if you have the Z truncheon you can go directly to that put it on the weapon in 1 minute and 40 seconds I think you can take the troll let's say Dalinsa because she or the Cimmerian Berserker because they do uh, a lot of damage and you can knock them faster and the last one is the oil of bounty this will give you a straight plus 9 to harvest harvested resources per hit which in my opinion is good but only two and a half minutes unfortunately and again if you manage to harvest the amount that you harvest without the oils the star metal will, will drop to 50 or or to five percent of its original durability now we cover the oils i want to cover also what you can put on the the weapons like poisons and stuff so we have three types of poisons we have the reaper poison that you can unlock in survival when you learn the fireball cauldron at level 15 reaper poison so you will need reaper glands for this reaper poison then you have the scorpion queen poison which is almost double the damage per tick for the reaper poison and you can get this by uh, harvesting the scorpion queen inside the silver mine the last boss and you also can learn the recipe for the queen scorpion queen poison from the tablet next to her almost at the end of the dungeon near the exit okay so now we have the specter coating the specter coating is like a bleed or poison for uh, undead the undead don't take damage from poison and from from bleed and this you can use it this as the as a poison again this to the, the poison stack to, to 20 so if you put one uh, bottle to a weapon it will allow you to stack 20 20 hits so 20 stacks of poison on, on a creature spectral poison I think is the same I didn't use it much but there are this can drop a lot you cannot craft this this can drop a lot let me check no this can drop a lot from the Cimmerians near the Mounds of the Dead in the Mounds of the Dead so this is about it for today I hope you find this video helpful and entertaining and uh, I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching bye bye